state tourism leaders gathered outside of a former school in the Lower Ninth Ward in a growing effort to showcase Louisiana's place in the civil rights movement. WDSU's Harrison Golden live at the former McDonough 19 school in Harrison. Certainly a lot of people there today to witness this event. Oh yeah, Trevor's dozens here on hand to unravel and show this new gift for the old McDonough 19 school here. One of those people here, by the way, was here more than 60 years ago, and it's actually because she was here then that we're here today. Oh Lord, so much come to mind. That first day comes to mind, and it's just a reminder of that day uh, that was really special. Leona Tate is thinking back to November 14th, 1960. That's when she, Tessie Prevost, and Gail Etienne became the first black students at what was then McDonough 19 Elementary. You know, six years old, we didn't understand that all those people we turned and saw in the street didn't want us here. The people who were out here name calling, throwing rotten tomatoes, um, just being ugly to the three little girls. Back then, the first graders had U.S. Marshals escorting them to protect their lives. Today, the state of Louisiana is protecting their legacy. I never thought that would have happened. And I didn't realize, I don't think a lot of people, how much history was here and how many of the things that happened in Louisiana uh, led to the civil rights uh, movement. Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser Tuesday unfurled a life-size silhouette here. It marks the newest stop in the state's emerging civil rights trail, a collection of the places where history lives. And to be able to put all of this into an educational uh, plan is going to be invaluable for generations to come. The trail will eventually have 15 stops around the state. But that's not all that's in the old McDonough 19 site's future. Tate, Prevost, and Etienne are the namesakes of a new center here. Kids will get to learn right here about the civil rights accomplishments no marshals needed. And that's what this building's about. It's about getting that story told the way it happened. Let them feel what we felt and just some racial healing. So Tate tells me this won't be the only statue here. Another statue is on its way here to the center honoring the U.S. Marshal, one of the U.S. Marshals who helped protect those girls so many years ago. By the way, that Marshal's ashes are scattered here on the grounds. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, we're telling some other sites Lieutenant Governor Nungesser has in mind for the Civil Rights Trail here in Louisiana. But for now, we are reporting live in the Lower Ninth Ward. Harrison Golden, WDSU News.